it is, or it should be on the side of it, or it should say on, like look on the side, and there's a, yeah, it's an on-off button. I think it's just out of order. No, it's definitely not out of order, it's just the place that, somebody might have taken the USB out of the, uh, you see a little. Which one is it? Uh, I, I can just use it. Oh, not that one, yeah. That was me, I'm sorry. That's okay. There we go. Just leave it in there? Yeah. All right. All right, sweet. <coughs> Ready? Yeah. All right. So you can say it started about when I was seven years old. I went to my first uh, college football game. It would have to be Penn State. My dad was a Penn State alumni, and so he was obsessed with it, and we lived uh, near at the time. Um, I, just, I remember everything from this day so vividly. I remember waking up early. Um, we got to the tailgate uh, place real early. Um, we had ice cream at the creamery for breakfast. Um, I remember the pep rally. I remember the Penn State blue band, how they said it and everything. I remember the kickoff, the halftime show, the fight song. You could say this started my passion for college football. Um, I haven't missed a college game day uh, or a college, or I've watched a football game every Saturday since then. Um, I even took my college game day, game day experience uh, to Oklahoma State with me, um, and I made it on ESPN a couple times. And uh, this is just three pickings, and that's at Penn State Stadium. Um, I'm going to start off by uh, talking about uh, the Heisman winners and um, how big of a deal that is in college football. Um, so I'm going to do the last three Heisman winners, um, which would happen to be Robert Griffin III, Johnny Menzel, and uh, Jameis Winston. Um, the thing about the college football, uh, it pertains to everyone. Everyone can enjoy something about a college football game, whether it be the band, whether it be the football itself, whether it be the pregame tailgate party. So that one, that just relates to everyone. <coughs> and uh, there's that. Um, so we're talking about Heisman. And uh, so once again, Robert Griffin, uh, Johnny Menzel, and James Winston. So to start things off, we're going to start talking about uh, uh, Robert Griffin III. Um, Robert Griffin III went to Baylor University um, from the years of 2008 to 2011. Um, and according to ESPN, um, Robert Griffin III improved significantly each year from year to year basis and peaking his senior year. Um, he completed 72% uh, of his passes and threw for over 4,300 4, passing yards, which is a pretty good stat statistic. And his, um, he wasn't even a Heisman running until late in the season when he beat the Oklahoma Sooners um, on a couple of miracle plays. Um, and they happen to be number five in the nation, so that, that kind of put him up top. Um, he's been a pretty, uh, pretty clean guy, no like off the, off the uh, field uh, drama. Um, and he goes by the nickname RG3, which stands for Robert Griffin III, it's an easy way to say it. Um, he was drafted to the Washington Redskins and had a successful first rookie season. Um, and then last year wasn't so great, but he's got big things ahead of him. Um, now that we just talked about Robert Griffin III, we're going to talk about a name you guys might be a little more familiar with. Johnny Menzel, um, Heisman winner of 2012. Um, this was his freshman, in football terms, year at Texas a and University. And he became the first freshman to uh, win the Heisman Trophy, which is a very big deal. Um, uh, he threw for over 3,700 pass yards and 1,400 rush yards. Um, which is off the charts um, and almost unheard of. Um, so that is why he won the Heisman. Um, and again, he was the, according to HeismanTrophy.com, he was the first ever uh, uh, freshman to uh, win this award. Um, it was the off the field actions that got him, I guess, a little more well known. Um, that would be uh, his, he was seen as a party boy and all that kind of stuff. Um, his, he got nicknamed Johnny Football. Um, from what I found out, it was self proclaimed. Um, but, so I mean, if you're going to name yourself, uh, name after the sport you play. That's the best thing you can have. He, got, he recently got drafted to the Cleveland Browns um, just this last week. Now that we've talked about two Texas boys, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, talk about James Winston, who uh, played at Florida State this past year. And he was a freshman at Florida State University. And he would be the second freshman to win the Heisman Trophy in history. And it just so happens they're back-to-back -back years. Um, he led his team to an undefeated season and a national championship, which is pretty crazy. Um, and he also uh, made a couple of off-the-field decisions that got him in a little bit of trouble. Um, 
Uh, his nickname was Famous Jameis, and uh, not only did he excel at, ba a bat or at football, but also baseball, as he um, was a pitcher for Florida State this past season. And according to USA Today, uh, Jameis Winston won by the seventh largest win margin for the Heisman Trophy. And that's a pretty large deal. Um, so once again, we talked about the past three Heisman Trophy winners, Robert Griffin III, uh, Johnny Menzel, and Jameis Winston, and his undefeated season. Um, so after, uh, as you can see, it takes a lot to win the Heisman Trophy. You need some very good statistics, and uh, maybe even some luck in some cases. Um, but every Heisman winner has hopes and aspirations to make it to the NFL and win a Super Bowl. However, they have one thing against them, and that's statistics. Only one of the last seven Heisman winners has won a playoff game, and that's Tim Tebow. And he wasn't well known for being a great quarterback. So hopefully someone, uh, one of these days, will be able to break the curse and win a Super Bowl as a Heisman. Leader.